guys, I have a video for you today, and this is just going to be me talking about some of my favorite plus size stores that I like to shop in and some of, like, you know, hidden treasures, I guess. Um, if you see me shuffling a lot, it's because my shoulder and neck are in super, super duper pain. Um, I've been out of work for a week, and I'm out of work for another week um, due to work injury. You know, all that fun stuff that happens sometimes at work. But anyways, um, so these are my favorite stores. They may not be yours, but they are mine, and hopefully you do check them out after this video, and maybe you can find some of the things that I find good in them as well. Um, so my number one, well, I'm not like, not like one to ten, my favorite, just the number one that I'm going to talk about is Walmart. Walmart, listen, I've always gone into Walmart and been like, ugh, ugh, ugh. Some of the plus size, you know, is like really frumpy and plain and boring, and sometimes you want staple pieces, so that's fine, but for me... I like a little bit of a trendier item. It doesn't have to be like, you know, super duper. I'm 31. I'm not going to be needing to dress in 20 year old clothes, but I do like trendy things. I'm 31. I'm not 90. So anyway, so it's hard to find things in that genre for plus, but Walmart's been stepping up their game. So there's a few different sections of plus size in Walmart. You have the faded glory. You have the plus size section. As soon as you walk in, at least in my Walmart, it's like, the trendier version of plus um that they've been trying to do which are really cute which are like long tunics flannels i mean talking about this season right now uh you know and they do have really cute staple items and then you go into like the woman plus which is i don't know the brand i forget but just my a white stag just my size those brands um are a little bit more mature and <clears throat> plain and not as, you know, they're the more typical plus size clothing without shape and stuff like that. So I also find No Boundaries and Fifth Sun are some of my favorites because they're on the more lower end of the plus, which sometimes I can fit into. But I want to talk about these leggings real quick. These are the No Boundaries suede leggings. And when you see these, you're going to be like, girl, they ain't going to fit me. But they will. They will go over your booty. They will go over your tummy. Um, I'm in a bunch of plus size groups and we talk about these leggings all the time. And I've seen girls in all different shapes and sizes wear these. And they're all the same size. These leggings are bomb. Like so cozy, so comfy. Um, I will say I do have a little bit of a bigger booty. And it they come right up to my booty. Like, you know, some people might want all the way up and, but they don't ride down or anything like that. So it's not anything that, you know, you could pull them up and they'll stretch over your booty. But these are the No Boundary Suede Leggings. I have this design here. And then I also bought this design here. Now, if you're into wearing um, colorful leggings, they also have plain um, and less vibrant ones. Um, but they're 588, super, super soft. And when you go to the store, you're gonna wanna get the extra large, um, extra large it says 1516 that's a lie i mean you could go from 1516 all the way to 126 if you're a smaller end of 26 28 they will fit you i'm a 22 these fit me perfect you like you'd be surprised you'd be really surprised and they're only 588 now, i know a lot of people like the uh, the lula rue leggings and a lot of, i don't own any of those personally um but a lot of ladies say that they're similar they're not exact but they're similar and they're not see-through, and they're super, super comfy. So definitely look into that. Um, I know people are buying them like crazy, so I would go now if you're interested in those kind of leggings. Um, I also have found really, really cute trendy shirts from Walmart lately. Can you not? I also check the men's t-shirts, because I like to wear men's t-shirts a lot, and they get a lot of trendier, cute prints than the women's do. So I would definitely check out the men's t-shirt section. Um, so on sale oddly enough I was so excited to find this shirt it's from the brand fifth sun and I got an extra large I believe they only go up to 2x but the extra large here look like it would fit me just fine it's a plain like slinky type of t-shirt but look how cute that little um pocket is it says first coffee which I should have gotten coffee for this video but it was only five bucks and I think it was only normally like 10 so it is half off but it, it says fifteen seventeen on it, but girl, these are going to fit me. It's stretchy, like as heck, and it's super, super cute. I also found this one, digging through bags, unprepared, as my life is always unprepared, is this one is, oh my God, can you guys just wait? It's adorable. These are the shirts I'm talking about. Like, I still like wearing these shirts at 31. I don't need to have, like, glitter and unicorns on everything, which I do like glitter and unicorns, though. But anyways, not the point. This is also from Fifth Sun, and this is a 2X. I got a 2X in this one because it's white and white clings to you, you know. 
It says, I love you, Latte. Can we discuss how adorable this shirt was? It was five bucks as well. Please go check your clearance in Walmart. Okay, just do it. So don't look past Walmart because sometimes you find gems like these, the leggings. Um, I also got a really cute hooded um, like skull shirt that's super, super soft, which is somewhere because I wore it the other day over there. And they have really cute um, jewelry and stuff like that. Just just check out Walmart, please. Don't like diss it because it's a little bit of a cheaper store. I love Walmart. Target is a problem for me on occasion because they have the plus size section crammed in a corner next to the maternity section. That's a whole nother story. Target um, has had a lot of issues with plus size in the past with, you know, people complaining. And me too. I shopped there though. And I can get away with some of the extra, extra larges and the regular sizing. Um, but <sighs> Ava and V is one of their plus size brands that are permanent there um, as of right now. And sometimes they come out with these, you know, collaboration brands with other companies or uh, designers and they sell like crazy and nobody can get their hands on it in the plus size section, which is annoying. And you have to order online for a lot of plus. And uh, <laughs> It literally, in my Target, it says maternity above the plus size section. And I'm like, listen, no, that's not how it works in this world. But anyways, um, but I have found some cute things there. The Ava and V jeans are really cute, expensive for me, but they're not overly expensive. I've seen way more expensive jeans in my life. Um, but they are cute and they fit really nice. Um, I have found lots and lots of tops. They do clearance all the time. So that's how I shop in Target in their clearance section. They have 50, 30, 90 sometimes. I usually just dig through and find some staple pieces, tank tops, tunics, stuff like that. And they have really cute bathing suits in the summer. So I would definitely check out Target. A little bit more pricey than Walmart, but you know, I feel like Walmart has more of a zone plus size sections. They have two plus size sections plus a junior plus. Target only has the one plus. It's like, eh, whatever. But, so, my next favorite place is TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx, also a very limited plus size section, but they are more of a staple piece place. They have army green jackets there. They have flannels. They have plain flowy tunics. They have really good jeans, which are the D jeans, but they do tend to stretch. So if you're going to buy the D jeans, make sure you size down and wash them when they start stretching. I don't usually wash them very often because they are a thinner jean, but once they start getting bigger in the tummy area and I have to keep pulling them up, that's when I, that's my cue to wash them. I know it sounds weird not to wash your jeans all every time you wear them, but I don't because it prolongs the life of my jeans and I don't wear regular clothes very often because I'm working 95% of the time. So the D jeans are really cute and they're only like 20 bucks, which is pricey for me, but I tell you they fit really nice. They're a skinny jean at the ankle, which I, it's so hard to find being a shorter plus size woman to find really nice skinny jeans that fit good. And these do. And they have them all different colors. Dark wash, light wash, burgundy, green, black. They're just really comfy jeans. Um, they have really cute cardigans there. Uh, go through the regular sizing too if you want sweaters and cardigans because they have a lot of oversized things there. Which are meant to be really, really oversized for straight size uh, women or men or whoever wants to wear them. But for plus, it would be like a cozy sweater. Do you know what I mean? So don't just look in your sizing. Look, don't look at the label. Like look at things, try them on. Trying things on is your best friend. Like I've seen things where I'm like, no, that ain't gonna fit me. And I try it and I'm like, oh girl, I look good. And I would have never known because it wasn't my size on the label. So you definitely have to check out labels, especially TJ Maxx. And sometimes they have clearance. So you can dig through that. Um, <clears throat> but beware with their clearance. Sometimes things are ripped and like, you know, not good. So that's why they're on clearance. So if it's something you can live with or fix, don't mind spending the money. That's fine. Um, but some things are just on clearance just to be on clearance. So, whew, that was a mouthful. My next favorite store is Rainbow. Rainbow is a more cheaper quality store. Right off the bat, when you look at it, you're like, okay, this is a little bit cheaper. But some things there are amazing, like really good. And I have a video where I tried on some clothes at Rainbow and you'll, I'll link that down below. Also TJ Maxx, I tried on some clothes. I'll link that down below as well um, for you guys. So Rainbow has a lot of staple pieces as well. They have a lot of tunics, sweater dresses, flannels, oversized sweatshirts. Um, definitely check them out. Now, Rue 21 has some adorable clothes. I just made a purchase online, so hopefully that'll come in and I'll share that with you guys. Um, 
they were out of the bralettes. I wanted some of the bralettes with the crisscrossing here, but the online they were out. It's kind of bummed, but I heard they're really good. So, and they're really, really expensive. Like the things I bought online were like two to seven dollars. Nothing was over. So I was like, mm hmm. I got a pair of jeans, a uh, couple shirts. Like it was crazy for like 25 bucks. Just check out. I don't know if they're still having the sale, but just click on plus or sale and then plus. Like, you know, wherever it says sale and then click on plus and go through, see what's left. They're really inexpensive and their shipping wasn't that bad. So, um, Rue 21 is really good. And I think they go up to a 3X. So, my normal size is <clears throat> anywhere from a 1X to a 3X, anywhere from a 20 to 24 jean. It just depends on the brand and the style and where I'm shopping. Um, Forever 21, I love Forever 21, but I have a problem with them sometimes because they only go up to a certain size jean in store and online they only go up to certain jeans up to 24 and they are junior plus. So they definitely run a lot smaller than normal plus size stores. Um, so, but they're very trendy. They're very cute. They have a lot of things that, um, body suits, they have a lot of the crisscross things, a lot of the flannel things that are going on right now. Um, they do have really cute bralettes, which are like happening now. So if you want to wear like a slouchy sweater like this one, and I had a bralette underneath, you know, things like that, but they are a junior plus. So I definitely would advise going in store, uh, at a forever 21 red seems to carry more plus than regular forever 21. I don't know if they're all going to be Forever 21 reds, but I've noticed that my regular Forever 21 that hasn't transitioned yet doesn't carry a lot of plus, but the weather one does. So it's a give or take because not every Forever 21 has plus in store. So if you are going to buy online, I would say definitely size up and, you know, if it doesn't fit you, it's okay. They're a junior plus. You can't, you know, beat yourself up over things that don't fit when they are meant to size smaller women. It just is how it is. Um, and my number one favorite place to shop is thrifting. That's a whole nother video. Um, but I thrift shop 95% of the time. And I go to places like Goodwill, Savers, which is more geared towards um, the end of the world that I live in. Um, but if you do have thrift stores, check them out. Because plus size women donate their clothes to people. And sometimes they're really, really cute. Things that I would normally not be able to afford. Like Torrid or... Uh, Lane Bryant and certain things like that that are really overly priced in my opinion, which I love Torrid. I do, but I can't afford some of their things. So if you ever shop at Torrid, listen, you get hot cash, you get your coupons, your codes. Do not buy full price there. It's ridiculous. Um, but <clears throat> excuse me, I think I'm getting sick. So like every time I'm talking, my voice is like eh, drying out here. So <laughs> and plus I'm in pain because of my shoulder. But um, yeah, so my, my advice is never shop Torrid without some sort of discount because this is too much money. Um, but Torrid is really nice. A lot of people rely on Torrid because they want the trendier clothes and, um, Torrid is exclusively plus. So it is what it is. It's a nice store, but for me, I can't afford it. So I do thrift and I search for those things that I can't normally afford. I get them super, super cheap. I have a couple pairs of Lane Bryant jeans, Torrid jeans, hydraulic jeans, shirts, sweaters, things that I normally wouldn't afford um, from those places that I've only spent a couple bucks on each because I thrift shop. So, and listen, if you are a plus size woman and you're donating brand new items with the tag on, because I've seen that several times, Rip the tag off. Save our girls some problems. Because if you leave the tag on and it says $64.99, the thrift place is going to charge the people like $25. I'm not going into a thrift store and wanting to buy $25 things, even though they were originally $70. I know that sounds like chintzy and cheap. But when I go to a thrift store, I want to spend like 5 to a dollar. You know what I mean? Because that's what a thrift store is. So <laughs> save, save us some trouble and, you know, rip the tags off, girls. But anyways... I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, definitely check out some of the stores that I said and mentioned. Um, if you have any of your favorite plus size stores, please let me know down in the comments. I would love to try some new stores for you guys as well. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time. Bye, guys.